shout out to all the moms for uh, Happy Mother's Day yesterday. Um, I mean, I haven't talked to you guys since well Wednesday. A lot has happened during this week. I lost my wallet, and I haven't had any tasks. Like usual, it's the beginning of the month. And third, um, I had a good Mother's Day, you know. Um, my wallet situation, it's already fixed. Um, but I had to pay my mom. I gave my mom some money, but I gave her a check. And honestly, I didn't know how to give her a check. So I had to um, YouTube it. But I rem I remember it, but I just didn't remember um, a certain stuff, which uh, which which were uh, odd stuff to write and i'm outside in my balcony as we see um the garage is being used right now since all the balcony stuff here has to be has to be go has to go downstairs because they're painting this whole section uh it, it catches a lot of background noise so bear with me um we'll be back on the garage in a couple of days other than that um happy monday and I had a tasker and a subscriber uh, reach out to me and he he be um DM me but um also we FaceTime each other on the Instagram and then he was a cool dude so I gave him my number and he's been texting me like frequently about questions about task rabbit so I actually asked him like if he had any questions specifically for um this video and so he gave me some um some questions you know shout out to um I don't think he wants to be shout out, but shout out to the t LA Tasker. I know he's in Downing, Southgate. Uh, yeah, this is the question he told me. Yes, the first one is how to rank customers while starting, or how to go about no reviews and no comments. So when it comes to that, um, when I started, it was different. So I'm gonna go what this new version is so on this new version um uh, it's all about comments honestly so you have to lower your rate in order to attract the client uh, i was talking to my my dad about this because um yeah you might have experience doing things like on your previous nine to five job or if you work under a, a contractor license or you just work period um you don't have any experience on the app, so people can't really trust you. It's just like um, task drivers, like a Yelp or any other um, app that um, people look for comments. You know, um, Amazon. You know, Amazon. All the reviews and comments people look for. So if you don't have any reviews or comments, it's kind of hard to get clients to trust you. But um, in order to um, counter that. Um, you have to uh, lower your rate, like all the rates. And then the rating process is just whatever um, you put yourself. Every state is different, honestly. Because uh, they could go like, these questions could go off topic. So I'm just keeping it as um, basic, basic as I can, as much as uh, to the question. Uh, so on that note, um, just put yourself as a lower rate and just attract the client. You know, just, you need, you need comments in order to succeed on TaskRabbit. Uh, you can't put a higher rate because no one's gonna hire you. You know, you might want a hundred bucks an hour and you have no no reviews, no one's gonna hire. It's, it's common sense, you know. It's, um, most people just hire you by the, um, your reviews and how to, how good, how, like, great job you do. Uh, I tell everybody just, you know what I mean? You have to bite the bullet. Uh, first the first maybe the first week the first month are just gonna be like lower rates you're not gonna make any money um, but the, those comments are gonna set you apart and if you do a great job people will, um, will actually um, write a review and and on that you have to also tell the client to um, leave a, a review I always tell them when I first started it was just leave me a review don't tip me tip, tipping will be my comments on the reviews and um, not even to review the comments. Comments are really like, that sets you really apart. Uh, especially they write those long comments. Um, and those people actually read them all. I've been, I've been, fortunately a lot of clients read the comments and they like what, what they say about me, you know. Uh, 
Yeah, most of every time I come to a, a new client, they're like, oh, your reviews are like a a one, or you're like a, you're really, really good at what you do. I mean, that's what um those reviews comments are there for, you know. Um, especially when um, you start like build up a rapport with your clients, it sets you apart, and then also um you get like rate, you can put yourself more uh, as a high rate. You change the hourly rate after you get a certain amount of tasks. I would say like like 20 every skill, but I'm going off topic, so I guess when he gives me more um, questions, and then I'll, I can go into that. He also asks, um, is it a good idea to give TaskRabbit a chance to sign up? Based on my experience, honestly, TaskRabbit changed my life. Um, no BS. Um, I was working at a retail spot. And um, I was looking. I was actually desperate to like leave that position. So I had TaskRabbit for quite a, like years. But I never actually went on it. You know, I had the food apps. I didn't do none of the delivery apps. Oh, none of the um, Uber or driving apps. I didn't do Uber, Lyft. I had DoorDash, Postmates, Caviar. I, I think that was it. And then I had um. TaskRabbit, I had TaskRabbit, I had Tackle, I had some tags. Um, I don't think Angelus was there yet. I had Dolly, I had Lug. I think Lug came a year, a little bit years later after TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit was, I had it 2012. I didn't start use, using TaskRabbit at maybe 2015. So I remember I was working at the casino when I had, when I actually downloaded the app. Uh, I don't know, I just, I just went on YouTube and then, you know, YouTube actually, um, this isn't how I found TaskRabbit. Um, there was a video this guy was describing. It was a pretty good video. It was like an hour long. I know it's like maybe six, seven years on the archives of TaskRabbit. If you guys could find that video, it was a guy interviewing a tasker in San Francisco and he ex kind of explained it really well. He explained it to Debbie. He made it like, it was even, it obviously it was an hour long. But he explained like pretty well to understand how the app works, and at that time it was different how it is now. Um, but that that video actually was really helpful. I tried to like find it, but I couldn't find it. It was just it was like it was through like a, a Zoom meeting, and um, and the guy looked like kind of Russian, you know. It was in San Francisco because you could see on his background window that it was like really like cloudy, and um, yeah, he was just answering a lot of questions that um. I guess, the, I don't know, it was just a weird, not a weird, it was just an interview, like, I don't know where. And I had a chance to um, find it, and then he explained pretty well how, like, how to sell yourself, and how to, like, go about, about tasking, and what kind of items to use uh, on that. So, he says, what tools are good, no, let me put, what type of car are you more chance to make more money on the cars? When I first started, I had a Camry. Um, I had a Camry, and then during a uh, task, I, I think uh, an elite tasker told me if you want to make money, you have to um, get a truck. And then after that, you get a lot of jobs. And he was right. When I, when my dad let me borrow his truck and my uncle, um, I was getting a lot of like these um, delivery task jobs and a lot of um, helping moving, kind of like. They're all the same, it's just in different combinations, like moving, moving help, heavy lifting, delivery, organization, furniture removal, and like yard work are like on that same um, aspect of that category. Um, it kind of changes here and there, um, but they all touch each other, like obviously moving help, you also be lifting because you're still lifting heavy furniture it just depends on the client and what the client needs it um but um but he told me what kind of car so the i what i i noticed the bigger the car the more um now i'm saying the the worst task the, the bigger the car the more complex the task is you know like with the camry obviously you can't take fridges or um, you can't take anything big, uh, big bulky items. 
So when you have a truck, you can take like maybe a furniture here and there or a table or a glass table or or a fridge. You know, you can't take too much stuff because you are limited. And then those, those, and the vans, you know, always in, it's enclosed. So you can only take like one or two items. So you take, you get a lot of, when it comes to those cargo vans, you get a lot of boxes. When it comes to the pickup truck, you get a lot of like small little moves. Uh, on Camrys, I um, mean on, on sedans, you get like maybe um, a lot of personal assistant jobs, a lot of like small, smaller items, obviously because the car is small. Um, those were fun, the, the smaller items were fun because you get like cake, you get all these like different tasks that you never thought that Task Rabbit had. Like, um, you need paperwork, you know, little small printers, you know, anything. Um, especially, and then if you're charging really low, people will hire you for like, like just about anything on, on sedan. On pickup trucks, I mean, when I first started with no helper, um, it was a little bit harder because most of the items you need a second person. And if you have, you don't have a lift gate, you, you need to, you need to tell the client to help you or, um, to find some help or, or find a way how to get it yourself. It's a little bit more dangerous because you might get hurt. And on, um, on the vans, obviously just, and on the vans, it's always like boxes, obviously boxes and a couple furniture items, not because it's limited on the height. Um, and then on sprinters, same thing, you know. Sprinters, you 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 might get away with like a lot of stuff that's a little bit taller, uh, because you know if you ever seen a sprinter, it's kind of kind of big and it's it's kind of wide and it's kind of, and it has a good height, and then it's enclosed. So it just depends on what do you want yourself into. Um, before I before I became an, uh, wanted to be an engineer or a designer, I was gonna get a box truck. But a box truck, um, cause this is a lot of like, a lot of hard work because like I said, the, the items get bigger. Um, you start dealing with like, like tough tasks. Like you need, on um, box trucks you actually need a helper. You can't do that by yourself. I seen the task are done by themselves, but I don't know how he does it. Um, especially we have the um, studios here, so I mean, hopefully everything's enclosed, everything's in boxes, but some of the items are awkward and, and they get really heavy. When you start dealing with marble tables, granite tables, steel beams, uh, glass, like heavy stuff, and then and then um, fragile stuff too. So it just depends what are you what are you looking for on Task Rabbit. I keep it just like basic. I just keep it with the pickup truck, you know. Like, small little moves because if you have the box truck the moves become like two or three bedrooms or sometimes they hire you and then it's just one like a studio and you do it like really quick it just depends like it depends what what are you trying to look for task rabbit um especially um moving jobs or um you have to be in shape because you're going upstairs you know you're going like tight spaces it's the items are the places get narrow it, you just gotta like you gotta be on your toes sometimes it's just not about moving and, and lifting now now you have to gotta think about some place you gotta like critical things sometimes that's why i keep it like simple with me with this with the pickup truck i usually um some people don't hire me because my pickup is small and that's okay you know they can get someone else um and sometimes they, they're amazed what I do with the pickup truck because uh, the pickup truck is almost like a box truck it's just more it's open uh, I've done some crazy jobs with the pickup truck and then I don't suggest people do it unless you know what you're doing um, it's stressful when it's like a lot of a lot of like heavy items like fragile items or, or both. Uh, I tried it to do two trips uh, but sometimes the client wants in one trip and you just gotta be like to your guns like hey you know if i do this some of these items might fall off the truck so you know but you gotta do this uh, like before you know that's what you gotta put to your client like what kind of test is it
hope that answers your question. It, yeah, it's just like when I was texting um this um pastor right here, like the questions he told me. Um, I went to debt with him. I think we were like talking on the phone like two or three hours or more, and still more questions came out. It's just um, it just goes like the different ways, you know. And then the last question he said um. What kind of tools are good to buy or have for tasks? So I keep it basic. I'm not really a tool guy. Um, this is what I bring every time I task, even if it's like a personal assistant. Uh, this is what I have in my truck. Uh, so so it, it's moving help, organization, heavy lifting, delivery, furniture removal, and then Full moving, full moving is like maybe when they're moving out of a mansion, and then moving help is like a studio or like a one bedroom. Sometimes studios have like you know you have to also take the kitchen too. Full moving is like the whole kitchen sink. Um, this is the tools I have in my um. I have a, I have a flat screwdriver, I have a Phillips, I have a hammer, I have a couple hammers, I have a mallet. Um, any mallet will do, like, and these are like all small items that fill up in the bag. A mallet, um, box cutter, I have a small one, like the ones like cost a dollar. Those are my favorite ones, those are easy to just cut. Box cutters too, you know, when it's, when you're doing organization. Um, a tape gun, duct tape, um, a wrench, wrenches, so I have a set. I use only the number 10. Uh, it says right there on the wrench. Um, that's that's what a lot of people always tell me. Like the number ten is the one I use the most. I mean, I rarely use the other ones, but usually it's ten or eleven. Allen wrenches is 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 the biggest. I had this star here. Allen wrenches are the biggest one I use the most. Those are mostly like IKEA jobs or um, bed frames, bed frames or IKEA jobs or anything furniture. It's always an Allen wrench. Um, sometimes it, it it's the um. The, the other wrenches, small little wrenches, but usually the Allen one is the one that does most of the work. I have the individual ones, and I have the ones that come in a, the one that looks like a Swiss Army knife. That's the one um, I have. Um, when I start delivering IKEA's, um, so they just leave it there on the ground, and then I just pick up the, the tools and I put them in the bag, so in case I can't. Um, find my island wrench I used to go on on the ziplock oh and ziplocks too to like find like loose loose um tools I just take them I tell the client if they didn't want them most most of them they don't want them just, they just, just throw them away I just keep them and then uh, I use them for another task uh, a drill a drill an impact for a regular I'm more like an old school I like using screwdrivers but um if I'm trying to like I'm trying to go. If I had too many tasks, then um, I use the drill. Cause then you have to charge it overnight. It's just, it's just a pain. Sometimes I don't. Every time I bring the drill, I never use it. And sometimes when I have them, it, it's usually not charged. And when I, when I do have it, I don't use it. But most of these tools, like you, you will use it here and there. You know, you're not gonna use all of them at once. But like I said, I'd rather have them than not have them when I need them. At least when I don't need them, I have them. Does that make sense? Drill bits. Drill bits for the drill. Um, the drill bits is maybe like the one for the Allen wrench is the only one I use in the in the regular Phillips. Uh, zip ties, those, those come in handy. Zip ties. Man, what I use? Zip ties are only like when I'm trying to tie some stuff. Usually I get the big one for the um for the for those furniture. Oh, did it die? Oh, they didn't yeah. die. Okay, cool. That did die. Um, I mean, zip ties. You know, I'm just having just in case. I always see a pencil or pen. If, usually when it comes to a pencil pen, um, removing the TVs like. Don't get me wrong, like I know how to put tools, but um, I know for like assemble stuff, but that's not my go-to. Hold on, just, 
Is that my go to? Because you're fixing it. He's painting the other balcony, so. So, yeah, when it comes to that, um, I rarely like put assemble anything. I don't assemble IKEAs, I don't assemble TVs. Because it's not my, that's not my go to skill. Um, everybody's different, you know? What if, whatever you're good at, that's what you should like stick on. Then after that, you kind of like venture out. Um, my my um my skill is just moving, heavy lifting, delivery, furniture removal, tool moving, and organization. Those uh, I get hired for like like putting up paintings or I just tell them I just don't do it. I um, mean, find somebody who knows what they're doing. And then you have to bring a stud finder, a level leveler. Um, it's just, I don't know, yeah. To me, I'm just trying to get going in and out, you know? And when it comes to um, moving stuff, I have kilts. So, you know, you always, you, you try not to hit the walls or you try not to scrape the walls or anything. I have kilts to um, spray paint the wall or anything to remove all scratches. Um, then um, I'm moving, uh, I always have two dollies. Um, get the hard plastic I mean, you can get the wood ones too but i mean i never use the wood ones so i use the hard plastic one the reason um i like the hard plastic one because you has the like the orange ones so i told them where they got theirs and they told me um usually amazon has them um if i got the one there's um a steel beam in the middle so it's reinforced on it's re all of them are reinforced that's the one that's the one i have today because Cause if you get the blue ones or the or, or the orange one, that's just like pretty much just like a square. Those will break easily. Um, I, Cause I already broke three of the blue ones, and I was gonna get that orange one from U-Haul, but then I end up going to Amazon and getting um the one in the middle. It's like it's pretty much just a square. Now there's a middle one, and that one, and that one has never it's it's kind of warped, but it's still good. Um, and I have the, um, the steel, uh, I don't think it's steel, it's, well, I don't know what, it's aluminum steel, because it's welded, uh, that, the only thing that broke there is the wheels, because it's only welded from, like, two sides, it's not welded from each corner, um, and all, everything is, like, reinforced, and that, that one never breaks, that one, I use it a lot. You know, orange one is not available. Oh, I have to use both of them. Um, I would suggest get the hard plastic or see if you can get uh, an aluminum steel one. Um, for starting, maybe you should get like a wood one or a hard plastic from um, Harbor and Freight. The furniture blankets, so those are those are a must. Those help you a lot on on the couches because you gotta pivot them like in the door. Like this standing, or um, or you going through like um flights of stairs, so you won't scrape the um the leather, or the um whatever, whatever um the stuff is made of. Those blankets are are good, and especially when it rains too. Also, oh, and also a tarp too. If if whatever state you are, and if it rains a lot, bring a tarp. The bigger, the better. The, um, furniture blankets, you know. You should not use them when it rains because they get really heavy. And plus, you know, they're soaked, so you might just wet the, um, the items. And then, it's not necessary, but like a hand truck dolly. Like the ones that have like three different sizes. So the one that turns into an L, the regular one, and then there's one that like turns into an N, which is kind of, that one's kind of weird. I just use the, the like, when it comes into an L, and then the other one we stand like those are good for like for fridges or most of the time I use it for fridges. Um, some like, like IKEA IKEA furniture boxes, uh, but it sucks when you don't. Um, you have to use the stairs, so therefore you just got to carry. The only time I use the dollies is for um, for refrigerators when I have to go like the first floor or the second floor, because um, they also have wheels. But those are the only times I use that uh, hand truck dolly. Uh, and then obviously ratchet straps. Ratchet straps, uh, I have, um, I use the ones from Harbor and Freight. 
I still use those. Um, I lost three of them, and I only have one left. So I had to buy another set. Those are like seven ninety nine or eleven dollars. Um, the ones from Home Depot, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like them. Um, it's like they're like red ones with black. Um, the the ones from Harbor Freight are like orange. Um, but it it depends on your it depends on your state too. Cause see, you can't have your gate open if you don't have any like orange um hazards. I don't know. That's what someone told me. So I have the orange ones. My dad has the um black ones, and then um Tony and the other guys have the other um the orange ones because I don't know. I just because I like to see where the the ratchet strap is at. Especially when um, you do like night jobs, you can't see them. Uh, I don't know, it's just, to me it's just a preference. But the orange ones are, are, I like. Uh, and then rope, you know rope? I don't tie my, uh, first of all, I don't know how to tie with rope. So rope, um, rope, um, you don't really need rope unless it's like, I mean, you can't tie anything or like you need to tie up some other stuff, but I have I have rope there. I don't, I only used it what I think once. It was for like I don't think of a way to pick up um an item from the first floor to the surface. That's the only time I use rope. Uh, it's rarely it's rarely used, but I have it there just in case. And what else? And then the moving straps. Um, moving straps. Um, I don't really like it because. I don't know, I only use it for like mattresses, but then I use the dolly, the furniture um, dolly for the mattress. The only time I use those mattresses is we go, maybe we're going upstairs, um, because um, especially for those temper beaded ones, because they're really like wobbly. So we use those. Um, it's only used when it's like it's a size king um, or a Cal or a California king. I I really because I usually just grip it. Um, you can also have gloves too, but I like to, um, I don't know, I just, I mean, I, cause I don't sweat a lot, so I don't need gloves unless it's like maybe glass cause I started like stressing out cause I don't want to break it. And so I start sweating a lot, but, um, you know, I like working with my hands. So gloves, uh, it just depends, you know, unless you're working with like dirty items, then you know, actually just, you have gloves. Um, but the moving straps, um, I mean, they have it on my Home Depot, um, a client gave it to me, so, and it's still there in the back of the truck, I don't, I kind of use them sometimes, um, it's, but I only use it for the, um, for the blanket, I mean, for the, for the mattress. I know this video is getting really long, so, probably have to end it, and then, um, uh, yeah, um, keep, um, sending you more questions, and, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Hopefully that helps you out. And um, until next time. Yeah, because I, I I had one today, but it, it got canceled. So I told her my I told her my um my rate, and it would say it was too expensive. Totally understandable. I probably won't get any tests. Probably um maybe the end of the month. But who knows? I'll let you, I guess let you know.